My pretty boy, run to the Senate House. Stay not to answer me, but get thee gone. Why dost thou stay? To know my errand, madam. I would have had thee there and here again, ere I could tell thee what thou shouldst do there. Oh, Constancy, be strong upon my side. Set a huge mountain tweets my heart and tongue. I have a man's mind, but a woman's might. How hard it is for a woman to keep counsel. Art thou here yet? Madam, what should I do? Run to the capital and nothing else? And so, return to you and nothing else? Yes! Bring me word, boy, if thou lord look well, for he went sickly forth. And take good note, what Caesar doth, what suitors press to him. Hark, boy, what noise is that? I hear none, madam. Prithee, listen well. I hear a bustling rumor like a fray, and the wind brings it from the capital. Soothe, madam. I hear nothing. Come hither, fellow. Which way hast thou been? At mine own house, good lady. What is the o'clock? About the ninth hour, lady. Is Caesar gone yet to the capital? Madam, not yet. I go to take my stand to see him pass on to the capital. Thou hast some suit to Caesar? Hast thou not? That I have, lady. If it will please Caesar to be so good to Caesar. As to hear me, I shall beseech him to befriend himself. Why? Knowest thou any harms intend toward him? None that I know will be. Much that I fear may chance. Good morrow to you. Here the street is narrow. The throng that follows Caesar at the heels of senators, of prietors, common suitors, will crowd a feeble man almost to death. I'll get me to a place more void, and there speak to great Caesar as he comes along. I must go in. I me. How weak a thing the heart of woman is, O oh, Brutus! The heavens speed thee in thy enterprise. Sure, the boy heard me. Caesar hath a suit that Caesar will not grant. Oh, I grow faint! Run, Lucius, and commend me to my lord. Say I am married. Come to me again, and bring me word what he doth say to thee.